गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हेमंत शर्मा एंड टुडे आई रियली वर्क हार्ड आई गिव माय सिक्स डेज एंड देन फाइनली आई प्रिपेयर अ टॉपिक अबाउट फेशियल नर्व एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू दिस इज द क्रेनियल नर्व सेवन एंड हाउ टू रिमेंबर दिस इज सेवन एफ सी एफ वी राइट एफ इफ यू टर्न अराउंड एफ दिस वे देन इट इज नॉन एज अ सेवन मोटर बी आर ए सी एच आई यू ब्रेक्यो मोटर फाइबर्स दीज आर द्रेक्यो मोटर फाइबर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट दीज फाइबर्स फ्रॉम द फेशियल न्यूक्लियस एंटर इन टू द मियाटस कैनाल एंटर्स इन टू द मियाटस कैनाल सी दे आर एंटर्स इन टू द मियाटस कैनाल एंड देन फाइनली इट्स गेनिकुलेट गैंगलियन दिस मियाटस कैनाल इज नॉन एज इंटरनल अकोस्टिक acoustic meatus canal and there is a ganglion this ganglion we can say geniculate geniculate ganglion this geniculate ganglion and then further passes through the middle wall of middle ear see this is known as facial canal facial this is facial canal so remember this path way from the nerve facial canal this enters here facial nerve but it's already this brachiomotor divides here which muscles it converts into stapedius 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 muscle if uh, any defect in stapedius muscle it causes what it causes the bell's palsy but this topic i am going to explain you about anatomy not uh, now about uh, clinical pathologies about this injury of nerve so this nerve enters here the foramen uh, this fibers is foramen is known as stylomastoid foramen stylomastoid foramen and then this open it's Converts this brachio motor fiber convert into the branch. This is known as the back side of a ear. This is posterior auricular auricular branch. First one. Another one is posterior belly. Posterior belly and the two muscles. First one we can say sternohyoid muscle digastric. We can say posterior belly of digastric. muscle and posterior belly of sternohyoid sternohyoid muscle okay good friends and another one uh, branch from brachiomotor fiber is gland this is known as parotid gland parotid gland this parotid gland divides into uh, five parts i already explained here so see on my face five parts like this way this one goes to temporal temporal this branch this branch goes to zygomatic because zygomatic bone here this branch goes to buccal buccal branch and this branch goes to mandibular this is known as marginal mandibular and here it's cervical so cervical spine we can cervical branch so see upper i written here temporal branch t and it is near i it's zygomatic z and here third one is buccal near the mouth so b branch and fourth one marginal mandibular so mandibular branch and fifth one is cervical branch c branch i written by this way so that's all my dear friends about the facial nucleus and it supplies facial nucleus then brachiomotor fibers then internal acoustic meatus or canal then geniculate ganglion then uh, it uh, enters into the facial canal and then stapedius muscle posteriorly and then it goes forward and then through the stylophorum uh, mastoid foramen it divides into the posterior auricular branch or posterior belly has two muscles digastric muscle and sternohyoid muscle they innervate and through the parotid gland the third branch it uh, divides into temporal zygomatic buccal maxillary and cervical branches which i already explained so uh, that's all until we finish about the 
special nucleus and the brachiomotor fiber. Now I am going to explain you about the superior salivatory nucleus and parasympathetic fiber. So this nucleus is known as superior salivatory salivatory nucleus and which fiber it is parasympathetic fiber parasympathetic fibers guys so remember it and this parasympathetic fiber also enters through the internal acoustic meatus canal but it divides into two branches like lacrimal this is known as lacrimal pathway lacrimal in green one pathway another one is it's submandibular pathway submandibular or salivatory pathway we can see lower side but from the upper side it enters into the lacrimal pathway and the nerve here we supply is greater petrosal greater petrosal nerve and greater petrosal nerve enters into the foramen it's a foramen less serum less serum foramen less serum and then enters into uh, the pterygoid canal this is known as p-t-e-r-y-g-o-i-d pterygoid canal okay and the nerve from the internal carotid artery located here in this foramen less serum it's deep nerve another branch is deep nerve when this deep nerve and uh, this greater petrosal nerve enter together inside a canal this nerve that communicating nerve we can say or we can say vedian nerve median nerve combines to form greater and deep petrosal nerve combines to form the median nerve and then they enters into a ganglion this is known as pterygopalatine ganglion pterygopalatine palatine ganglion and then it transmits its signals to the branch of zygomatic maxillary then of thalamic lacrimal, lacrimal branches and it supply uh, to the gland of lacrimal and then nasal ciliary palatine and pharynx pharynx so see what was going to be happen here if there is a defect in the lacrimal pathway uh, so lack of less cremation less of tears lack of tears nasal secretion decreases taste decreases okay so lacrimation decreases if there is any defect here okay now another one i am going to explain you the submandibular so till here i hope you remember then this is known as submandibular pathway or we can say uh, salivatory pathway so this fibers uh, go enters same but it goes through geniculate ganglion and then the posterior canal through the posterior canal it enters here and this nerve is known as nerve and represent corda tympani c o r d a corda tympanic nerve tympanic nerve and this is also a parasympathetic stimulation and there the ganglion this is known as submandibular sub mandi Buller ganglion and then this is divided into uh, three branches are uh, branches like a submandibular branch sub mandibular branch okay friends and then sublingual branch sub lingual branch okay and this is the two third of tongue it supply in a lingua so i already explained about facial nucleus we finished now we finished about superior salivatory nucleus repeating again superior salivatory nucleus by parasympathetic fibers enters into the internal acoustic meatus then uh, it divides through the geniculate ganglion it uh, passes a uh, pathway two way that the first one is lacrimal pathway another one is salivatory pathway or we can say submandibular so lacrimatory pathway it uh, greater petrosal nerve enters into less forum and less serum then deep nerve deep petrosal nerve they enters to the pterygoid canal together and this nerve we can say median nerve or communicating nerve then through the pterygopalatine ganglion this is uh, through the branch of zygomatic um, maxillary uh, it enters into the ophthalmic lacrimal branch and then it supplies to the lacrimal gland nasal gland ciliary gland palatine gland pharyngeal gland nasopharyngeal and the what is submandibular pathway like uh, posterior canal it enters through uh, the uh, this is known as the nerve corda tympani and uh, then submandibular ganglion it divides uh, into three parts like submandibular branch sublingual branch and two third of the tongue now i am going to explain you the another nucleus but this is a start from the periphery guys like two third of tongue a taste for sensation of taste this fiber go this way 
that the nucleus tractor solitarius like this way this go through the corda tympani and then the posterior canal it enter then the facial canal then the geniculate ganglion then its internal acoustic meatus but is with geniculate ganglion it has cell bodies this fiber cells cell bodies taste fiber cells cell bodies and then enter cr and then it met with this nucleus this is known as nucleus solitarius soli uh, tractus solitarius soli terius nucleus nucleus n u c l e u s nucleus tractus this is responsible for the taste and uh, there is another nucleus trigeminal which is responsible touch pain sensation in the external ear this posterior auricular branch uh, it uh, give the sensation of ear touch and pain by this way this fiber travel through this and then enters into the stylomastoid foramen then here here and then geniculate ganglion this uh, posterior auricular fibers they have fiber here and this cell bodies and then they enters through here and the finally the nucleus supply this nucleus is known as tri geminal nucleus my dear friends so how many nucleus we already studied four nucleus like facial nucleus superior salivary nucleus rectus solitarius nucleus nucleus tri geminal my dear friends see the function if this supply the lacrimal gland that means no lacrimation due to this greater petrosal nerve or we can say the defect in geniculate ganglion if nasal secretion decreases due to this lacrimal and if uh, we think about this way uh, the sub mandibular gland sub lingual gland less saliva secretion if taste loss then the taste loss due to which uh, this uh, uh, like the sub mandibular uh, ganglion or by this way and if there is facial expression loses due to uh, distal part of stylomastoid foramen if there is a fiber defect from this nerve so facial expression goes down if the pain and touch sensation goes down due to trigeminal nucleus c after this i already explained so my dear friends if you have any questions regarding facial nerve you can ask me i am going to explain the bell's palsy and ferry syndrome and some another pathologies regarding the facial nerve in another section this is the anatomy section i explain here till this now so my dear friends if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe it and if you have any comments or any queries you can ask me thank you thank you for today that's all have a good day have a nice